Hi there, I'm Brian Corey and welcome to Corey Nursery. Hello. Hi. You mind if I ask what you're doing? I'm getting ready to water all these plants. My name is Brian Corey from Corey Nursery. Nice to meet you, I'm Erica. Well, Erica, are you new to watering house plants? Yeah, but how hard is it to put water in the plants? Actually, Erica, there's a whole science behind watering house plants correctly. Let's go over it right now. Erica, as with any job, safety always comes first. Before you even begin to water, you need to barricade your entire work zone with safety signs. Like this one? Exactly like that one. You need to make sure when the customers approach anywhere the floor might be wet that that area is covered with safety signs. On top of that, you're going to have customers in the store that are going to want to know what you're doing. So as they approach, you need to stop what you're doing and warn them the floor is wet and slippery and not to enter. If they want help with product in that section, you will be glad to help them. Well, Erica, now that we've got safety covered, it's time to water some plants. First thing you need to do is set the proper pressure on your hose, which is hardly more than a slight trickle. You don't want to blast your plants with water. Or you want a nice, smooth, even flow. Let me show you. That right there is about enough to water any plant that you're going to do. Go ahead and hold that one out for me. You want to water this plant until you have water coming out the bottom of those drain holes. And that's all you got to do. Well, now that I know how to water one plant, how in the world do I take care of all of these? That's a good question, Erica. Now that you know how to do one, it's time to teach you the basics of the once weekly big watering, which should always be done the day before your next delivery. Let's start at the beginning of the display, shall we? Erica, hold on a minute. What are you doing? You water up there with those hanging plants first, you're going to get rained on the whole rest of the day. The key is to start with the bottom row. Start with the bottom row, the very back plant. Get back in there and water it just like you learned. Give it enough water so that you know there's water running through the bottom drain holes of the plant. Quickly move on to the next plant. As you work with the plants, you'll learn to know how much water it takes to water a six inch plant, a four inch plant, an eight inch plant, and so on. And your speed will become faster and faster as time goes by. Never forget that back row. That's the most common problem we see. Erica, let's pause here for a minute to talk about bromeliads in particular. A lot of people think you only have to water the cups when you water a bromeliad. What are the cups? The cups are right there, right where the leaf connects to the main stalk of the plant. The truth is you don't actually want to water the cups because that water can become stagnant and ruin the plant. You want to water the pot on a bromeliad just like you would any other plant here. So soak it all the way through so that the water drips out the bottom. Just like the others. Erica, go ahead and get started on the hanging plants now, if you would. Hanging plants tend to get a lot more airflow, and obviously they get a lot more light in the store. They're the ones that are going to dry out most quickly in a store environment. OK, Erica, now it's time to go over the weekly backup watering. OK. Now, the point on the backup watering is not to water everything like on the big watering, because only some of the plants are going to need it. I want you to go through and lift the plants, and by the weight of the plant, you're going to know whether or not that plant is ready for more water. Start at the same place as if you were going to do the big weekly watering, but this time I want you to go through and just lift each pot long enough to determine whether or not it's heavy with water, or is it light indicating that it's ready for more water. Noticing the weight, they'll tell you themselves whether or not they're ready for more water. Okay, so at the beginning of one section and in the back of the first row? Correct. 
don't water the plants that are already saturated and don't need it, only water the ones that do. This is mostly gonna be your smaller sized pots, four inch, six inch, probably a lot of the hanging as the hanging tends to dry out a lot faster. Go ahead and give it a try. Erica, the hanging plants are especially important because they get a lot more airflow up there and they also get a lot more light. That means they're gonna go through their water much more quickly than the rest of the display. Well, these all seem pretty heavy to me. That's good, that means they're still watered and we can move on to the next section. Great. This is beautiful. But every time I water it, it just fills up with water and it gets all muddy. I'm glad you asked about that, Erica. Take a look underneath that pot and tell me what you notice. There's no drain holes. Exactly, there's no drain holes, which means the plants you watered before had a place for water to escape as you watered them. This one will fill up like a swimming pool as you put water into it, and that's a bad thing. This type of product is called table ready, which means people can take this home and set it on their piano, on their table, anywhere they want without having to use a saucer. This takes a different style of watering. Well, how do I water it? First of all, you don't need to put as much water in containers that don't have drainage, or like you say, it's just going to spill out the side and make mud. So, what you're gonna do is as you're going through the water, the containers that have no drain holes, you're gonna put a little bit less water into as you go. When you complete the big watering and you are finished, the last thing you're gonna do is find yourself a nice bucket. Like this one? Exactly. You're gonna go back around through the display and you are gonna take all the containers that have no drainage and what you're gonna do is come back to all your table ready containers that have no drainage and relieve them of their extra water. You now have a nice week supply in this container without killing your plant. That's so interesting, Brian. Brian. Yes, Erica? What about these plants on the clearance rack? They look green and all right to me. That's a good question. That's why I'm here today. Let's talk about that, shall we? Okay. Although this plant may look green and healthy and good enough to stay on your sales shelf, it's actually not. You know why? No. Let me show you. Watch what happens when I pull it out of the pot. Why, it's really dry. Very good. In fact, it is so dry that it is beyond the point of return. We cannot water this and bring it back to a point of being worthy of your sales shelf. This plant is now damaged and a permanent member of the clearance cart. Remember, Lowe's is not a hospital. It is a premier outlet of premium grade house plants, and we want to keep it that way. If you blow it on the watering and they get this dry, they are clearance products only. Wow, Brian, that's really interesting. That's why that plant is here. Well, Brian, I learned so much today from Cory Nurseries. You certainly did. Let's go over what we learned today, shall we? Yes, let's. The first and most important thing when getting ready to water house plants is what? Oh, I know this one. It's safety. Remember, always put up a sign or a cone in any area that you're about to water. Exactly. Number two, we learned how to water individual plants today, didn't we? Yes, I learned how to water ones both with drain holes and without. And remember, you always have to relieve the ones without the drain holes. Exactly. Number three, we learned about the once weekly big plant watering. When does that occur, Erica? The best day for the once weekly watering is the day before your next delivery. That's exactly right. Number four, we learned about the once weekly backup watering. Remember, the smaller pots and the hanging plants are more likely to need a second watering during the week. That's right. Number five, we learned about when it's time to put plants on the clearance cart for good. Anything that you wouldn't bring to your own mother, brother, or sister needs to be on that clearance card. 
Well, Erica, with what we've learned today, you are now ready to care for your houseplant section in your Lowe's store. Thanks so much, Brian. It was so much fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.